the big thing about Orion is that uh, it allows us to uh, not only to open up, but to be observable. So one of the, if you want to have a network that is learning, that is uh, adapting, that is testing, you need to observe, right? If you don't have data, if you, a, a, a machine learning algorithm needs to have feedback. Is, am I doing right or wrong? If I'm doing something, what is happening? So one of the big issues about uh, NSA, 5G and uh, 4G is that it's not observable. That is, it's not like the cloud, you know, a base station will give you a few parameters, a few metrics. So when we designed our open run, we designed it so that we can observe it, so that we can put uh, what we call the, ra ra uh, the radio intelligent controller, we can put correlation, we can put analytics, we can put automated testing in the same manner that we're doing in the core. Uh, that's what drove the, uh, um, uh, the decision to have an open architecture. And of course, we're benefiting from a lot, lot of other things like better silicon, uh, you know, better algorithms, but, but a better economics. But this is more like uh, the result of Oran than the driver. The driver was to be able to be automated, to be an observable and data centric. So, so the, the reason for the cloud is that we are targeting the enterprise market. When, when we deliver to consumers, which we do with our brands like Boost, for us, they are one enterprise. So we consider our consumer uh, market as one enterprise. So everything is enterprise. So everything is sliced, if you wish, in our, in our business mind. So in order to be able to slice, you need to be able to test a lot because it's not monolithic. Imagine you have a thousand different type of slices because you have a thousand enterprises. They all want different things. You need to test their latency, their speed, their access. So you need to be able to test in their environment, live or before you, you deliver to them in their environment, their latency, their speed, their security requirements, their, their bandwidth, their geography uh, 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 policy and so forth. And you know, all this came to the conclusion that it needs to be in the cloud, that the testing needs to be in the cloud, that the testing needs to be automated, that the if, if we want the network to learn by itself and as a standard slices, the data needs to be available to the learning machines. So the test results have to be available. So it becomes very natural that there is only one solution, you know, for speed of innovation, but also for managing so many different environments and slices and sub networks, if you wish, you have to be in the cloud. There's just no other way. Um, and then we, uh, we made that decision. Now, when we made the decision, we had to test. We were not sure that the market was ready. But uh, 18 months later, we've proven to ourselves that it was ready. So we were kind of lucky that our ambition came at the right time when the market you know, was, was ready to do the type of things we wanted to do. Like uh, Doug was saying, I mean, Spirant is ready. Uh, we, we have not made Spirant ready. It's just that they, they saw the same things we saw that brought them to the same conclusion. Now we can consume what they did just because we converge at the same time.